Good evening. Actually, late night where I am now. And I'm bored. So I think I'm going to have a little fun and tell you one of my favorite stories about psionics. I've written this in my blog, but I think it sounds better if it's coming out of my mouth. One of the things I use psionics for, or have in the past, in my wild and misspent youth, was as a sex toy. <laughs> um, back in 1916, old Doc Abrams proved that you could send energy out the tip of your finger to a person and their body would react to it. Well, instead of sending the energy to the, from the tip of my finger to their abdomen, as Doc Abrams did, I sent it to a slightly lower part of the anatomy and had great fun with it. I still occasionally have great fun with it when the opportunity presents. One time at our slosh, our monthly gathering, well, it was weekly back then, I, uh, I was moved to use it on a uh, vanilla chick sitting at the bar. And she was so excited, she literally fell off the bar stool, landed on her head and knocked herself out. It was great fun. After all, consent is for sissies, especially when we do energy stuff. It's, yeah. <laughs> no one with an ounce of guts cares about that. Well, one night at a you know, play space we frequented, when we were healthy and able to do such things, we had our victim du jour strapped on the other, to some piece of furniture on the other side of the room. And I was sitting some distance away, because distance doesn't matter. And I was just with my finger, not just my finger. And she was reacting as one would expect. Practically knocked the damn thing over. Well, everybody was ooing and eyeing and standing around going, how was he doing that? What is he doing? After it's over, and our friend is, she's recovering, and we're all sitting around in the lounge talking. Well, as anyone who knows anything about BDSM, it is beset with nervous Nellies. Oh, this isn't legal. That isn't legal. Oh, we're getting all kinds of terrible trouble. Well, you can imagine my reaction to all that. I'm coming from the standpoint of psionics, you understand. We have ways of dealing with those problems. Well, I'm poo-pooing it because it's silly and it's paranoid and it's stupid and so was the person holding forth. Well, finally he could stand it no more. And he looked at me and he said, what are you going to say when you're standing before a judge? And I looked him square in the eye and I said, I will never be standing before a judge for this. And he said, what do you mean you'll never be? And I said, listen, assuming you are capable of doing so. You saw what I was doing in the other room earlier with the energy fields and everything. He said, yeah, well, yes, what has that got to do with anything, blah, 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 blah. And I said, think about it. Instead of aiming at the prosecutor's genitalia, I were to be aiming at the prosecutor's heart. Oh, you never saw anyone turn so pale so fast. Because <laughs> he knew I was not kidding. And that is my story for tonight. Oh, and while I'm at it, I, need a, I have to put in a commercial. 
This is our new psionic amplifying helmet. You need this. You cannot be an effective Casamini Orthodox without it. And we have books for sale. We still have, and I keep this thing in plastic to protect it from dust and things, some copies of Psionic Supervillain for sale uh, through Mr. Brylock. And you get my autograph with them. A little bit of Uncle Chucky for your home. As well as being able to carry it around and shock people. So, anyway, I hope you have a less boring, you're having a less boring evening than I am. Well, of course, you just watched my video. How could you not be? This is your old friend, the nefarious, the evil, and sometimes shocking, Uncle Chucky. Have a delightfully evil night.